851, turn right heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome to DJ's Aviation. Today I thought I'd take the time to discuss the relatively new Airbus Beluga XL and why it's actually being built by the European aircraft manufacturer. Airbus. In this video, I plan to discuss the Airbus Beluga XL on a whole, giving you the specifications and more. The Beluga XL is a transporter aircraft for Airbus and is also known as the A330-743L. The aircraft completed its first flight on July the 19th, 2018, but it is expected to be introduced formally with Airbus in 2019 and at this point in time is currently completing hundreds of hours of test flights to make sure that it is eventually safe to fly. Without these test flights, the aircraft would not be prepared to complete regular routine transporter flights in the future. Let's begin with the Beluga, the classic one for that matter, which is also known as the A300-600ST. This aircraft was introduced roughly at the same time as the Airbus A330 and is therefore aging quite quickly for that matter. First and foremost though, the Airbus Beluga XL was introduced because the older Beluga was in need of a replacement. While cargo aircraft can usually fly longer than your typical passenger aircraft, it's very important to maintain them, and if an upgrade is necessary, then it must be done. What next? While well, demand is the next big thing, it's been no lie that the A320 and other Airbus aircraft have been selling extremely well. Just take a look at the 2018 Farnborough Air Show. Airbus received new orders for the A320 almost constantly. With increased demand, a few older Beluga aircraft simply aren't enough, so introducing the Beluga XL means there'll be more space to carry aircraft parts to various final assembly lines. In fact, Airbus has analysed the demand so heavily that they plan to not remove the current Belugas from service for at least five years. In turn, this will mean that they will operate a mixed fleet of Beluga XLs and classic Beluga aircraft. Through doing this, of course, more Belugas will be on offer, and it does mean that they'll be able to move more parts more frequently. The Beluga fleet more than doubled its flying hours in 2017 from 2014, and this does indicate the demand for single-aisle jets. Airbus says there'll be a maximum of eight Belugas in the sky before we start to see the older ones slowly but surely being phased out. This indicates to us the true demand for the A320neo series and how it's excelling in the aviation industry today. This video doesn't require a lot of detail as an explanation as it is relatively straightforward. I would like to ask you though, do you like the design of the Beluga? Let me know in the comment section below. I can certainly say that it's so unique it's hard to get bored while looking at it, but it is very, very odd to say the least. I'd like to thank you very much for your support, and if you did enjoy, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you are new, and hit the like button. I do look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams and flight, and we'll fly.